Hello and welcome to my channel and this is the second in between -y video. <laughs> what do I mean by that exactly? Well, because I'm doing the bot stop this month, I decided to do some extracurricular activities and do some videos in between my uh, bot stop update videos, which I do on the uh, Friday afternoons. Second of which I did a couple of days ago, which was a live stream, which was uh, it was a thing that happened, I had a couple of viewers on it, one of which was a certain Stephanie McKeever. Now, Stephanie McKeever, aka SKD or Shuriking Dino, uh, put a comment on one of my uh, haul videos I did from uh, TF Nation and asked if I could do a review of one of the figures that I bought. Well, I thought as a video that I could do in this month instead of, let's say, a KTRT review is honour some of the... the uh, requests that I've had coming in to do reviews of certain figures and this is one such figure and the figure that I am going to be reviewing today is a third party figure it's a uh, convention exclusive and uh, it is this chap this is Mastermind Creations Perfection Series PS06R Teragus Rally now it is a uh, a repaint of their uh, Teragus figure which came out and the this toy itself now as I understand it um, was uh, originally started as a, a custom paint job done by a certain Mr Boris Chow of uh, the ages free and up that's that uh, shop in uh, is it uh, Toronto Canada and he got hold of one and did a, a custom paint job on it he did it up in in a kind of like you know, like a, a, a an almost like a Paris Dakar style livery. So he did it in this um, yellow with blue, and uh, he he showed his custom to the guys at Mastermind Creations, and they liked it so much that they actually put it into production as a convention exclusive. And this is it. Now, I uh, this was um, a convention exclusive for uh, TFCon Toronto, which which happened about two months ago now. Was it back in July? and uh, they sold it there as a convention exclusive and I saw it then and I thought oh I'd like to get one of those but I thought well there's a slim chance that some of the uh, retailers at TF Nation will bring some will bring some along and might be able to get some at uh, TF Nation because that was what happened last year when I got hold of my um, uh, Planet X Hephaestus which was also a, a TF Con exclusive so I was kind of hoping to see one and as it happened on Saturday afternoon or was it? No, it was late Saturday morning because I bought all my stuff on Saturday in the morning. Um, I saw that uh, Kapow had a couple of them on their store and they were doing them for 85 quid, which was a decent price for a convention exclusive, so I had to get one. So, yeah, I got hold of one. And this is Teragus Rally in alt mode. And wow. Um, <laughs> one, it's a, it's, a, it's a Toyota Hilux, and I love the Toyota Hilux. It's one of my, my favourite, you know, sort of pickup trucks, you know, off road vehicles. I absolutely love it and another reason why I like it so much is that um, like some other uh, transforming toys that I've bought I've got a, uh, a car in my tr uh, in my RC car collection that looks very that's kind of similar so I've got my my Tamiya Bruiser <laughs> yeah this is a, a Tamiya Bruiser it's got a metal chassis it's got uh, working leaf springs it's got a free speed gearbox these things are ridiculously expensive. Um, came this this particular version of the the the, the Hilux. They, they did earlier an earlier version of this. The original Toyota Hilux came out in about 1979, 1980. Um, I've got one of those, but it's in very very poor condition and it's not worth showing off. So I thought I'd get my my Hilux, my uh, my Bruiser out instead. But it's obviously a slightly different design. It's got like these big massive wheels on it to make it look like a monster truck, and it's got the, uh, the little the little uh, crew cab thing going on but uh, you know it's you know it is a Toyota Hilux and so is this and that was one of the reasons why I decided to get one also the other reason was because of the of the the fantastic Lyrium I and mean, you've got all these these really cool sponsor decals on which aren't real sponsor decals because you know real sponsor decals i mean you look at uh, this one you can see it's got it's got champion munro stp power gloss you know it's got real real sponsor decals on it 
which is what they used to do back in the day because they don't do it so much now because as with anything you know there's a certain licensing fee that needs to be paid and they don't like doing that these days so instead of that it's got it's got stickers on it that are like you know, it says perfection series down there it's got pike for life because he's one of the guys who was involved in the creation of this uh, this particular mold uh, this particular version for all zero one that's going to be another figure that's coming out from the uh, the perfection series that's going to be one of their little uh, their frenzy homage if i'm on and then you've got teragus unem <laughs> feral rex <laughs> it's got feral rex on there it's got ski penguin sphinx uh you know um rmx01 for all perfection series ox ocular max you know it's got loads of you know bo2 uh it's got loads of nods to the uh, and obviously it's got like a backdraft on the back that looks like a marlboro logo and uh, ages free and up logo on there it's it's covered in uh logos of certain uh things relating to mastermind creations and some of the guys who uh, put work in to create this this uh, figure so that's that's the uh the vehicle mode now the the pre-product shots showed it as having a transparent windscreen you could see the the base of the the head sculpt showing through but as you can see the actual one has kind of smoked glass in the windows so it, it, it's not so obvious and another quick look at the the vehicle mode you know you've got the ball bars on the front with the uh with the lights and it's, it's got a winch with a, a little little hook that comes down uh, on the back it's got a spare tire now this is in this is really cool you can lift this thing up and you can take unpeg the spare wheel and it's a proper spare tire and when I say that I mean it's got like a rubber tire on it and you can take one of the tires off the vehicle take the spare tire pop it out and then put it back on so it's a real spare wheel it's a real spare tire I mean to swap the, the, the actual wheel over you'd have to undo the because uh, the wheels are pegged on but you can actually swap the tire over if you need if you want to so it's a proper full-size spare tire and it uh, pegs in the back of the vehicle mode and there's got this little clip that goes over the back I mean obviously um, this is based on the uh, Terragus mold which is um, the trail breaker so it should have like a truckman's cab on it but as it happens it's just this uh, like a flattish panel it's got like the roof bar it's got the the lights it's got this some bars here it just looks like a load of uh, boxes of spares and accessories just uh, sat on the back of the vehicle mode which looks cool it's got wing mirrors it's got uh, wire mesh in the the side ball bars it's got running plates very nice Little exhaust come out the back underneath pretty clean underneath actually um, really good looking alt mode and fantastic now obviously I'm, I largely bought this because of this because of the alt mode because it's such a fantastic looking vehicle and um, even though my camera and these lights are making the the yellow seem a lot brighter than it actually is it's kind of like a almost like a warm sort of orangey yellow that's on it not quite camel uh, livery like the, the the camel trophy but uh, it's it, it's close but I, I really really love this thing it's fantastic and it's in my opinion it's one of the best figures I've picked up at TF Nation this year so anyway now transformation I have transformed this a couple of times um, I don't I'm not a fan of doing third party reviews because the transformations tend to be a bit complex I know my way around this but there are a few sticky bits on it so I might be speeding up some of the the transformation bits uh, I might speed them up to you know save time on the video also I, w I was gonna do this magic hand style but uh, I ran into a few problems um, one my lighting rigs not sufficient uh, two I was using my digital camera to record the video which does HD video unfortunately it was eating my batteries alive I could only film for more no more than about three minutes before the the battery light came on and also because uh, I've only got two gigabyte memory cards and filming in HD video it eats memory alive and it, I can only get like five minutes out of a memory stick so I decided against that I should have done it with my mobile phone but okay let's, let's do this uh, face on so yeah transformations a bit there's a few bits on it that are a bit 
a bit icky, but uh, we'll, we'll get there. So first of all, you've got to unpeg this bit at the back. Now it is very firmly pegged in in front. There's this little angled peg thing here, and then there's two clips either side, and then there's a little clip in the back. So you just have to work it out. It's very tight, tight in there. And then you sort of pull that up and out. Now the legs are tucked, are bent double inside the back of the vehicle mode and they're, they're very tightly packed in there. And when you unfold them, there is a little in the way of clearance issues between the two bits. Now the main bit is, is this, you can see this, the sides of the vehicle, you've got the, the door and then the rear sort of bed. You've got these little angled joints here that clip in. Now it says in the instructions you just fold the doors out, but it's not that easy. So you have to unpeg the sides and then sort of work it. Now I find if you bend the, the legs down, that starts unpegging things. And then you have to undo that then get onto the other side and try and undo it and then you unpeg it and so then you start bringing the legs down now this is where you have the uh, clearance issues because you've got this piece here has got to slide past this piece and it's not easy and of course you've got the uh, the running board which you fold over and it, it kind of gets in the way. Now you've got to push the wheels down they're on the uh, on these sliding joints that click into place so you just slide them down come on there we go and then So we can get the, the waist and then you fold this bit down, clicks into place and then it's doing the legs. Now you have to sort of fold the legs in on each other so you fold out the foot and then you've got to turn. Alright so yeah, yeah, so you fold these out of the way and then you fold this over and then you fold this tire inside the leg. Again, a bit of a clearance issue. Then you slide the shin piece out. And then you bring, oh no, 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 you bring this, this bit down first. And again, there's quite a lot of clearance issues here. It's a really tricky bit because there's not much in the way of clearance. So there you go, right, so you fold that down. Make sure you, the your wing mirrors, you have to tuck them inside the leg. And then you slide the shin piece across and then clip it in. And then there's this little bit on the knee that you need to, need to fold it out. And then you bring it down and then you clip it into place. Like so. And that's one leg done. <laughs> you can see this thing's a bit of a mare. Uh, right, let's try and see if we can do the other side a little bit easier. So that's that's basically the legs done. Um, now I did have an issue with this working loose. It has got a screw in the back so you can tighten it up. So the, the feet do work loose. Okay, now fortunately the top end isn't as bad as the legs. Uh, in instructions the legs look you know, quite easy to do, but because of the clearance issues, they can be a bit icky. Now the arms are here. So you kind of fold the roof panel back. And then you can fold in the windows a little bit, but not too much because 
obviously you can see the head's tucked away back there. So then you pull the arms out and then they're on butterfly, you unpeg them and they're on butterfly joints and that happens. Um, the, the windows, side windows are pegged in and they do pop off. So I've just dropped one. There we go. We'll take them off for now and put them back on later. So you fold the shoulders out. And then you've got to start with uh, folding all this up. Now you take the front of the thing. I mean, the, the bull bar is a separate piece that just clips on like that. So you can take it off and it will transform without it. Now I like to fold the, the winch piece up. Uh, no, no, you have to fold it under. Then you fold these bits around and you have this, this central spine here. You've got a peg there and you've got a peg there. Now this thing, fold this down, you can then collapse in the sides of the, uh, the vehicle. And then this whole thing slides down and you've got to locate it on that peg there and then feed it into that there. So you bring it under and again, clearance issues. It's better to feed the top peg in first. Come on, there we go. And then fold that round. Right, so that then plugs into there. Now the windscreen has got two little ports on there and there's these little pegs on the top of his sort of shoulder blades and you have to angle that to clip in. And again, the angle is quite tight and they are very small pegs. And there we go. And then that holds the whole top end together. Then you can fold out the head and then collapse up this piece at the back, put the thing in and then we're just on the final stretch now with the arms, collapse that up and then you extend the arms and then you pull the fists out and you have to pry some of the fingers out, pull gently They, they are kind of tight. Wiggle a little bit out, it comes. And then do the other side. And wiggle. And and there we go. Oh yeah, and also I forgot to you uh, fold them uh, bits in at the back. It then holds the back of the leg together and stops this bit from flapping around like so. And that's really annoying me at the moment. So there we go. There's Turagus Rally in robot mode and absolutely looks amazing. I love the look of this thing. Uh, I like the colours, I like the yellow, the red, the silver and the black. Um, it's got um, a, a G, no, G1 toy style head sculpt. Now I want to, at this point, um, I want to give you an idea of what this, this toy is based upon because actually this wasn't just a, a, an off the cuff you know, custom job that was done and then turned into a toy. It was actually based in fact on a, a pre-transformer the, the Diaclone version of the Trailbreaker mold, which actually had two separate colours. There's the one in sort of like the darkish blue, and then there is a yellow one. And just to prove a point, here's some pictures of the uh, the yellow Diaclone uh, Trailbreaker. So 
So as you can see, there was uh, a yellow version of it, and they did um, they did the the hoist was was red was a red version of the mold with the uh, the record gear on the back. So yeah, here he is, and he looks fantastic. And I, I'm glad they went with the the toy head sculpt, even though it does actually come with a bunch of accessories. I mean, a quick look at the the box. Obviously, it's got you know the name there. It's got some fantastic artwork. It's got art on the end there. On the top, it's got like a you know like a transformation sequence. And then on the back, you've got this fantastic bit of art, and you've got like a, almost a G1 style bio and a tech spec. Now, it does come with uh, a bag of accessories. It comes with a instructions manual, obviously. Comes with a Narca Traders card. Uh, unfortunately, it's it's just glossy cardboard. It's not really plastic. Though I do like what they've done with the um, the bio. Teragus has a secret guilty pleasure, like many of his fellow Stelians. His love for Earth has led him to admire truck rally racing, but watching the sport on satellite feed isn't enough for him. His passion has led him to disguise himself on occasions and enter races so that he can feel alive and compete. In, and live in the moment and forget about the war so that's uh, quite a neat little bio they've done for him and comes with a load of accessories now also comes with a, a tech spec decoder because now anybody like younger collectors who don't know about you know, G1 transformers they had this thing this uh, like the, the, uh, the tech spec which was on the back now, if you look at it, you can see there's just a load of uh, squiggly lines, but when you put the tech spec de decoder over the top, now you can't really see it very well on this camera, but it actually highlights a line for his things. Unfortunately, because the artwork has obscured most of it, you can't really read his tech spec, so you have to look at the, uh, the trading card to get all the details off it. Um, other accessories it comes with, Comes with two little square cups to go over the end of the arms. Got the the force field generator that goes on the shoulder. It's got a spare head, which is a more cartoon or you know comic book accurate head sculpt rather than the toy one. And then you've got a load of other bits. You actually, it actually comes with uh, spare wing mirrors, just in case you're, you know, a bit unfortunate and you break them. So you've got some spares there. And then you've got the uh, the silver missile stroke guns. You get two of those, and you get these two little little clippy things, and another piece like that. Now these accessories, they do fit on uh, Teragus Rally. The, uh, there's some slots in the back of his thingy mode, and then you just of his you know, robot mode, and then you just just slot that in there. And then you've got the. You've got the like the shoulder missile thing. Now they have these little hinge out clips, and there's a little like a, a, a clippy thing on the shoulder. Now I really need a macro to show this properly, but you have to there's like a slot inside, and then you angle it back, and then you you sort of slide it in sideways. And then you can then angle the shoulder cannon however you want. And uh, on the fists, and you push push the fist back in, get one of those little little block things. There's little clips top and bottom, and it just clips over the top. And then you get uh, one of the other missiles, which will then plug in like a like a hand cannon. 
and then finally the the other little clippy bits you have these little 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 nipples for want of another word got these rectangular things in his in his shoulder and then you just plug them into there like so and that does that so he will he can carry his weapons now you can reconfigure him you could have two shoulder mounted guns take this off and put another one of these over there you can have uh, two fists so it's a little bit of swapping and changing you can uh, you know mix and match and, and I must admit these floppy feet are getting on my nerves right now um, articulation on this thing is uh, it's got a side to side and an up and down obviously the head is on a, a rotating platform so you can get a little bit extra the head itself will tilt up and down but you can get on the rotating flap you can get a little bit more shoulders will go out to there they go all the way around a little bit of a, a butterfly joint there it's got bicep swivel elbow that goes over slightly over 90 degrees the fists do rotate it's got posable fingers the uh, first three fingers are individual but they're they're on fixed fixed thing and then the the trigger finger has an extra joint on it so you can uh, straighten it out form is on a ball joint but they they are very very floppy which is a shame moving down got a waist joint a little bit of an ab crunch which is always welcome the hips obviously they do hit the backpack slightly so they go back that far forward that far the full spread very tight upper thigh swivel now the knees um, there is a double joint you've got the the proper knee joint which is here and then you've got the transformation joint which is down here and when you bend the leg more often than not it this thing all comes unclipped and it uh, breaks the mold and this thing unclips and it bends the leg there which it shouldn't do now the reason for this is because the ankles are so ridiculously tight when you bend the knees you have to grip them at the side and then bend them and they will go to maybe just over 90 degrees and then the foot obviously has got an ankle tilt and it's got a little bit of a toe joint which goes forwards and backwards so decently poseable a bit more than the average figure in terms of posability again mine's got a bit of a QC issue on the floppy ankles but again there's a screw in there you just stick a screwdriver in nip them up and they'll be fine I uh, can't be bothered to do that right now and lovely robot mode looks fantastic um, size comparison let's get combined walls megs so you can see he's just a little bit smaller than a leader class so he's like a large voyager or, or an ultra I mean who have I got that sort of ultra scale toy wheeled Orionville he's kind of like ultra class um, and uh, now I mainly bought this because because of the, the, the colour scheme on the vehicle mode but I did want a third party uh, trailbreaker and what I got is I got me a bad cube speed bump and I will admit the vehicle mode on this is it's it's beautiful it's perfect it's virtually flawless um, transformations I mean this you know this guy's kind of fiddly this guy even more so <laughs> But uh, he's a great looking figure. I wasn't planning on getting like two versions, but you know, it's good to have them side by side. But you know, as it was a repaint, and again, you know, like a like a, a rally, you know, Paris Dakar or a Camel Trophy style uh, rally get up, I, I had to get it. And uh, yeah, he's a fantastic figure. So uh, if you now, it, it is 
going to be make be have a limited release on the you know in the uh, certain shops. I don't know whether um, Kapow still got some in stock, but I, I think there's a uh, I think um, Big Bad Toy Store have put it on pre order, so I think they're going to do a limited production run on these, so that you know everybody who wants one gets a chance to get one. And if if you if you like it, then go for it because it's a, it's a fantastic figure, really really brilliant little figure, and uh, I love it, and I don't regret buying it at all. So this has been my review of uh, Ocular Max Terragus Rally and this was a, requ a review requested by uh, Stephanie McKeever so <laughs> I hope you've enjoyed it such as it is and uh, I will catch you guys again on Friday for my next um, Bot Stop live feed and uh, I'll see you then. Ta-da!